okay you're welcome and um, in this session we're going to talk about data validation data validation allows and ensures that you can streamline user input right you want to be able to you want to have some control over what the user can input in your cells in microsoft excel in this case all right uh, one of the purpose or the reasons why we um, perform why we do data validation is to ensure accuracy with our data Secondly, it allows to prevent data corruptions to remove errors from um, uh, data that users enter or input in our cells. And then finally, it improves or facilitates data analysis. If you have, if your data is not really dirty easily, you can actually analyze whatever it is that you have. It it's, it allows. Um, quick data analysis so we're gonna just i'm going to just, just going to show you how to do um some kind of data validation on this data that we have right here so in this column we have employee names the departments and the date of birth now for the department we want to um we have a list of departments so i'm just going to list our departments here so we have the hr department we have the it department we have the sales department and we have the accounting department right we could have more in organizational problem but for this class we're going to use this for departments and so we want to be able to validate want to validate whatever um, is imputed in this column right here so we're going to highlight all of these cells that's where we want to perform our validation go to your data tab select data validation and right here you're going to change this to list now for the source you can either type in all of these values one by one and separate each of them by comma or just go ahead and select this 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 space right here on that source and then highlight all of these and so you select ok now you can see this little um, drop down button right here and you can see all of these you can see the options now if by uh, mistake your user now wants to input something else in there you get an error because it's no longer a valid data right so um, data validation ensures or allows you um, to keep out those errors um, you can see it's applied to all the relevant cells that we highlighted now in this cell you can see that we did not highlight it so there is no data validation on this cell. i can put anything and it goes through all right now for the date of birth what we want to do in this case is to ensure that each of these staff is older than 18. we don't have any staff that is less than 18 years in our organization so i'm going to highlight all of these cells go to data data validation select this and select date now for the record i am using office 2019 and so okay so you're going to select right here you're going to select less than or equal to now our end date we want to say equal to today This is an input excel function minus 18 right because we want to say at least the person is 18 years old multiplied by 365 now why are we even multiplying it this date right here today the function contains dates months and um, year so but then we are just subtracting the year in this case so we want to convert it to the total number of days in the year right um so 18 um by the year that's 365 days multiplied by um, the number of years now if you want to factor in leap year in your equation you remember to add 0 0.25 if you don't want to factor the leap year in just leave it at 18 multiplied by 365 then you select ok now if you enter any date and excel calculate and the person is not up to 18 let's say 2014 is gonna reject it so you can go ahead and retry then you edit this in 2011 reject go back to input 2004 and now it's a valid data so whatever date you put in here and it is the person is not up to 18 years old is gonna 
reject it. I do hope that you have learned something from this session and that you can put this to text in your project. That being said, I'll see you soon.